Hey everybody, John if you get here. Hello and good morning. Okay, this video is just a little bit of a clarification of yesterday's video. Uh, a lot of you have been dumbfounded by me speaking Filipino or Bisaya. Um, let me explain. I recently trying to reach a broader audience uh, between the, uh, you guys, American audience, and also trying to reach the audience, uh, Filipino audience in the Philippines. And um, you know what's weird? Even though I speak 100% Bisaya, I've been out of the Philippines for over 22 years and um, I find it a little bit difficult to speak Bisaya in the camera. I have no difficulty speaking Bisaya having a conversation with somebody especially you know like my wife or anybody else that speaks Bisaya. It's easy enough, but it turns out that speaking to a camera like this in Bisaya is a little bit more difficult or different. Um, speaking to you guys, speaking in a camera in English is nothing to it. But uh, somehow speaking Bisaya is a little bit difficult. But that's besides the point. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm trying to reach the Filipino audience. And what I have learned is that, well, first of all, 99.0% of Filipinos understand English. They may not speak as well as I do or anybody else, but you don't really need to speak to Filipinos and Filipinos. Although there is a sense of, you know, it's nice to hear somebody speak the native language, but everybody understands English. Second point is that I'm having to devote more time of making extra effort, extra editing, extra topic, extra, well, not even extra topic, but the same trip, the same topic, but in different translation. And it's really tasking. So I think I'm going to junk the whole idea and just keep you guys happy. Um, I talked to, uh, uh, talk to some of you guys. Uh, Larry Wheaton has kind of uh, emailed me and uh, also talked to Rich Melvin and they uh, help me to realize certain things. Um, I also foolishly made a Facebook account of a certain name trying to reach that audience and uh, try to generate a little bit more of income there. And oh my, the garbage, the filth, oh man, the ugliness of Facebook. Everybody wants to send you private messages and they want to send you naked pictures. And you know they're all fake accounts. It, it is just... Oh man, I tell you, I, I, I don't think there's anything 
dirtier and filthier than Facebook. The incredible amount of, the, it's a cesspool, it really is. Um, people messaging you, asking you for money and claiming that they need this. Automatically they want they want to ask you to go to what do they call it? WhatsApp. They want you to chat in WhatsApp. I says, what's the difference between this and WhatsApp? And somehow I guess they're not allowed to do what they do on Facebook, so they go to WhatsApp to do their despicable things. So I'm junking the whole thing. <laughs> I've had enough. I mean, it's it's only been I don't know two weeks. It, it the management of it, the filthiness of it, ugh, it's too much. I I can't do it. Anyway, so that's uh, that's why the Bisaya speaking. Uh, video and um, as I said I'll I'll stick to you guys keep you guys happy you guys are the greatest you guys are the greatest most loyal subscribers anybody could have so I'll devote my time on keeping you guys updated and uh, entertain as best as I can so that's that so again, thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Larry and uh, Rich, thank you for your inputs. And uh, all of you out there, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a good and godly day. Peace.